Welcome back. My name is Mulligan and this is Xenonauts X Division. Last time we finished a large mission. The cruiser bomber, I believe. We did lose half of our squad, which was a heavy price to pay, but we got some research. So, a little bit. A uh, couple metallurgies, weapons, plasma cannon. Maybe that will unlock stuff, who knows. Um, we are making the laser rifles, we need to do those. Now with losing half of our, of our squad, I don't think we are in a position to, to really engage the other large UFOs, ground mission wise. Oh. Carrier group bombed, okay. As long as they don't start a base. I'm okay with that. I don't think those two can really do much. Okay. Sabian soldier autopsy. We can make light fibers, officer. Okay, so the large UFOs are gone. So being class analysis. Commander kindly tells those knuckle-dragging graduates from Jarhead Academy to stop bothering my staff when they are off duty. We deal in verifiable facts, not half-baked rumors and pie in the sky hearsay. When we have reliable information, we will pass it on. Here's our analysis of the combat-ready civilian types the man will face. Guard, the next step up from a non-combatant. Guard class civilians are comparatively larger, equipped with plasma rifles and wear press plate made from alien alloys, which provide some protection by giving them freedom of movement. Our observation of them suggests that they prefer defensive post postures. Their true role may be shipboard security rather than frontline soldier. Soldier, soldier class civilians are the closest to what we would consider frontline troopers. They wear a more complete set of body armor covering the breast and groin. They also wear additional armor on their comparatively vulnerable legs and have been seen to carry heavier and nastier weaponry. Film footage donated from some of our sponsors suggests their weapon can liquefy an unarmored man in a few seconds. If you can't drive anything else into the sick heads of your man, beat into their skies this falling equation. More armor equals more dangerous. Do we have a scout? We, we have a scanter, scanter. Hunter scout car. So this is what we defeated. The bomb, bomber's cruiser. A lot of aliens. Aircraft gravity torpedo. Sure. The problem is that... Just go somewhere else. Tank upgrade wreckage. Okay, we can get 60 dense fibers. The question is, what do we do with dense fibers? We get a ton of those. You're not really using them. Uh, do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Where is where is this? We can face no UFO, no alien plasma dissection wreckages. Wait, not there. Where do you get the tank wreckage? Harriden race. Upgrade a tank. 60 dense fibers. We can get one. Don't know what we... Oh. Okay, let's hope that this cryptology center is going to give us information on all the missions. Sorry, Doc, at this assembly. Um, I would say we go for the alien plasma cannon in hopes that we get an upgrade. And after that, the aircraft gravity torpedo. The problem is... We can shoot down large UFOs. We only have a problem if there are fighter 
because we can't shoot down the fighters and the large UFO at the same time. The massive ones, I don't know if gravity torpedoes is enough. We will see. First, alien plasma cannon. This weapon is almost a rocket launcher. It projects plasma with such force that it co also causes damage to the immediate area around the point of impact. Study of how it achieves this should allow us to increase our knowledge of how plasma weaponry works in general, plus the dismantled parts may come in useful too. We should, by the way, check equipment. Um, still a couple explosives, not too many though. We need more rockets. And grenades. So we should get like three of these. How long until the next one is done? Okay, let's do that. Uh, research is going good. Okay, this was for the time being. So we can make the knife MK2. So I did say. Uh, in the mission we lost the knife because I put it on the ground and just didn't ge get picked up that I would get the knife back so what I did was just remove the cost it's only for the knife MK2 the rest is still costing stuff and only for one you can you can count on that I mean you can see if I'm just pulling out another knife you can even check how many knives do I have zero only one knife unless I get more shitty, but you know. So get some stun rockets, then get some stun grenades for the rest of the stuff, then get some acid grenades and acid rockets. Chemical, I would say four. AVAX is at the target. Okay, and a uh, couple grenades. How how many aluminum grenades do we have? We are not really using nah, we don't have much. I would say um, we wait like until six. Oh, yeah, until six is still okay. Alien plasma cannon. Lots of tanks. The alien plasma cannon is a large infantry weapon that measures a little less than 50 inches in length. We believe it is best thought of as an alien equivalent of a bazooka or rocket propelled grenade. Firing a single powerful bolt of plasma that has great range and will inflict major damage on anything caught in the blast radius. It is vastly superior to its conventional counterparts. The most obvious advantage is the increased damage it inflicts. At short range, it can penetrate at least 15 inches of solid steel. Precise me 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 measurements were difficult as we ran out of steel before the projector ran out of power. In basic term, it is enough to destroy virtually any conventional vehicle in the world in a single shot. Also important is the ammunition capacity of the weapon. It takes even a skilled operator up to 10 seconds to reload a traditional anti-tank weapon after every shot. With the AM plasma cannon, you can draw four shots from its battery before it must be changed. The weapon also suffers minimal recoil and has no black blast, back blast, making it easier to handle and safer for Jason friendly units. Thankfully, alien materials are for far more resistant against the penetrative effect of these projectiles than conventional materials. We believe the vaporized metal forms a shell around the projector when it strikes steel, doing much of the penetrating work for it. However, the higher melting point of alien alloys prevents this from occurring and instead the projectile must rely on raw energy to inflict damage. Our more advanced technology gives us some protection against this weapon, though the wolf and buzzard are not strong enough to protect a soldier from a direct hit. The wolf in particular should help our troops survive being caught in the blast. I have already warned your men about the fearsome power of the weapon, one hopes it will encourage them to get out of the way of the projectile. Nice, we don't have Buzzard armor, so... Sure. Let's get the gravity... Nah, I'm not, I'm not gonna build that. Not now. Why? I mean, how long? Ah, uh, sure. Alien bombers are a menace. However, study of one has led to an interesting development. 
we've come up with a new type of payload based on anti-gravity generator. I won't bore you with the details as we haven't actually finished the design yet, but we have some projected outcomes based on testing so far. It's relatively lightweight, means that you can carry more of them into battery and they can be launched from further away. Much further away. The payload won't cause as much damage per individual torpedo, but the increased amount of them ca you can carry should negate this. Okay. Uh, Production-wise, do we have enough grenades for another mission? Five of those? Yeah, we, we have... okay. It's not... it's not perfect. But we are on a good path. Um, the problem is we need... oh, wait. Equipment... weapons, advanced. We did lose our... Mm, we have to build the MK3 minion. We did lose that, um... Was it last mission? I believe yes. Yes, it was. Reaper came in, just one shot him. We had to blow everything up because he would just kill us. So we have to make the minigun again, which means we have to make the minigun and we need a lot more energy cores. So the search for energy cores continues. Um, do -do -do -do, iron phaser. Um, get three energy cores here, two energy cores there, an energy core there. You have ballistic cores, which I do not need. We do not have enough cores. We have a couple fibers. Chemical cores. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Couple more cores. One here, one there, one there. So let's do those. Ba -bim. Yeah, so it will be a little bit hard, especially because this is... The bomber counts as phase two. I believe phase three is only the massive ones. So we are in phase two, I guess. I hope we still get medium and small sh missions. Because training up a new elite squad will be hard. Okay. Getting more cores. Takes six hours to get one of those. Okay. Still not back, but we will get more ships. Okay, medium one. Right there. Perfect. A large one there, which we can shoot down. And a small one there. And I hate my life. Okay. Let's send the Osiris and two F-17. Prepare squad. So we need a couple small guys. We have we don't okay so David you are back uh, rifleman sniper we need a heavy weapon heavy weapon do we have anyone who is counted as too injured wounded three days wounded two days yeah major heavy weapons and rifleman also heavy weapons revived that was one okay so we need in... oh no, we do have another heavy weapon. Good. We have a rifleman, a sniper. We need another sniper, which we have. Okay, have those. Uh, we need a rock tier, which we do have too. Just uh, if we want to capture anything. And I believe two riflemen? Yeah, two riflemen. Get a sergeant, so we can uh, get him up a little bit, and another private. Okay, this is my squad. You have a ton of ammo, which is good. Um, 
Private, Get Armor, Get a Minigun, Two Grenades, uh, you are looking good, you need armor, you can't go out without armor, Grenades, Bep, Bep, just for everything. You need armor and you can carry another grenade, a fire grenade. Rocketeer, you need armor. Get some more acid. You probably need those. A sniper. We still don't have a sniper upgrade, which is pretty bad and David Rice so I, I didn't really beat the knife did I no I did bam knife 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 uh, we do we have the pistol just as backup two little magazines probably need another explosive you never know looking good so we do have a couple we have a small one here, which we could do. Let's see, maybe the Osiris is enough. The small one would be really easy. The small one is really fast. Oh no, I destroyed that. I didn't take... Mm, it's gone, okay. I have a problem with the fast one. So it's a uh, four kilometer per second. Okay. What we can do, we can cross reference that speed with what we know about a in empty, empty. Yes. Uh, a in extraterrestrial. No. UFOs. There we go. So we can check. So the light scout is going for 2k. We have the missions, the fighter at 3k, a scout at 1.4, the corvette at 1.5. So that means this one is a shuttle. I'm pretty sure it is a shuttle. Now last time I fought a shuttle I don't want to do that again. So. Gravity torpedo with power of the anti-gravity generator we can create a little black hole at the target zone. Why not a bigger one? So let's see, the damage is a third. More range. Uh, faster lock. We have 20, so in all we have like 2k damage instead of 1.6. We fire a lot more, we fire one every second, so... Our DPS considered they only fire half the DPS of the Illinium is still better we have a bigger degree it is slower and it is just slower not good let's get the sniper a long range version of their rifle design capable of firing projectiles at even higher velocity closer study closer study of its components may further our understanding of how it is achieved can make those. I mean, sure we can. I'm still concerned about that and this one. Uh, what we can do? Ah, oh, come on. Return to base, return to base. This one we can start destroying, engaging. Okay, a terror battleship, heavy fighter. The problem is auto resolve doesn't kill some stuff, it goes all or nothing. So we are probably only able to go for the medium mission.
Okay. Okay, it's done. I'm going to launch those two. Don't attack my base. So how long are you able to stay there? A little bit. I knew it. I hate this. Come on. Uh, what is going on here? Oh! Small light shuttle. For civilian six reaper. I forgot. Can't really see those. We can see what is happening here. Can we see what is going on there? Not really. Uh, what is okay? You are still. So it's a couple Reaper. I would say we could. Uh, depending on how many civilians are available. Auto resolve. And we can go for that mission. Okay, I will stop here. Next episode we will go for the shuttle and after we will look at the base mission. I'm not really confident, just saying. So stay tuned, thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.